Hi guys, it's Aquarianis. I know it's been a super long time and I figured I might as well show you all of these unfinished pieces. Finished pieces, what I do with my pieces, and what is left that has not been made into anything. I was away for like a week, so, and I didn't really have any time to show you anything beforehand. So, here goes. <laughs> So, on the back I had super spillover, so like I said, unfinished pieces first, but my mom found a bird egg in our yard. So I told her I would put it in resin for her. I need to paint the sides with resin. Well, not paint it, I need to coat it. And then fix all the spillover sand right here, or try to peel the rest of this off. Because the layer under it started to peel, so right there of that egg is showing. So hopefully it doesn't do it again, because I don't want to throw it out. Another piece for my mom, she didn't, she still wants it even though it's like riddled with air bubbles. But this was a flower that my godson had sent her for her birthday. And again, spill over. And it just had a little bit of green pigment. This actually is a piece of the flower from when I popped it out because I wanted to see how much more I needed. It was from this stuff right here that comes up farther. It's not like that on the other side. And again, need to paint the sides from the spillover so it's got the little runny drips. This one is also for my mom. And once I finish the spillover, like, well, fix it, not finish it, because I sanded it down, this will be a coaster, a mini coaster. Fit a soda can on here or anything with that same width. And then this will also be for her, but for her window. And then again, you could see the spillover because this is the front. And it's nice and clear and shiny and spillover. That's like everything. I decided to redo this piece because it was. I took it out and fixed the sides so they look 10 times better and teensy bit of spillover, but that's the easy fix. And I still like it. And then this I'll turn into a pendant if I can fix this spillover and then make it into a necklace. And then fix the sides. I just need to repaint and then do it again because it was like rough. It's still a teensy bit rough. But like I said, I have to paint it on the sides because I want it to be all gold. And then I want to paint the back gold as well. And then I still have to get the spillover off. And then dome the back and it spilled over. And then when I domed the front, totally forgot to seal up this hole. <laughs> Because it had spilled over on the back, but the back is nice and smooth now. And I put dried leaves in it, but this one is for my wall, so I don't care that it's got that. You can always drill that out. But I just have to fix this. And then it is all done. And then I finally decided to pour in this mold, which has been painted with the white of the Santa hat and the red. For quite some time I did this black and white glitter mix, uh, painted the face, and I just have to do the back. It's a, a teensy bit of spillover, not too much, not too bad. I'm just going to keep it like this and then probably make this a pendant. Not sure yet. And then since these were the ones that were a bit flexy. You can see I'm still 
trying to figure out ways to this one's not so much so this one maybe needs a little more resin and then I just have to repaint the back and then see this one needs a lot a lot of more resin or I might just take this out and put it in resin itself same with this one if I can't get them to unbend and then make it like a coaster or something and then this was a new mold I haven't been filming any molds like this isn't bendy at all I just have to coat the back with some resin and then well after I sand because this is this is paint that I have to get off and then I want to try to fix this because this broke and then I completely forgot to put the bezel on so I spaced so I have to put the bezel I guess I'm gonna just resin again because I don't have any strong enough glue right now and then fix the spillover and then this mischief manage piece for my wall and then it's just this tiny bit of spillover that needs to be coated or I could just leave it like this because this isn't not bendy or anything and then I did some shrinky dinks and I coated this is the side that's not resin you can tell and then this is the side that is so it's like extra shiny and then side that isn't side that is so I'm gonna do the other sides that aren't with resin and then the tail is still a little bendy at least right here but the rest isn't so I'm gonna do another coat of resin and maybe it will be fixed if not I will just keep it for myself and then Hello Kitty I use that same glitter mix I wasn't going to paint here but then I realized the white stands out for her face and her paws too much so I need to resin the front and then maybe the back again from sanding the sides or just do the sides and I still have to fix spillover from paint but that shouldn't be too hard and then this has spillover so I gotta work on this and then it looks like this wait no no it's this way and then I originally put Alice in Wonderland themed uh, tiny hearts into these and then put too much glitter in so it overspilled so I put new stickers on so I gotta do that and then the back because there's this lip and now there's glitter all over my bed same with this one and then I put this aerial piece you can definitely see where it was but I actually like how it affects like that and made it into a bigger coaster and I still have to do the back because I wanted to um, paint the sides but some of it came off so I might redo the sides again first but I'm still not sure there now for some actual finished pieces I made this mini coaster of Sam and Dean and it's got this teal felt on the back this is glow pigment. I almost said just regular yellow pigment, but it's glow pigment with a yellow yellow felt on the back, so that's why it seems so dark. And it is dark fader. And then for some more finished newer pieces, I made this Game Boy with Pikachu in it, and I painted the little knobs, including the on and off button. 
And this is the back. It's like super shiny. And then this is a newer piece as well. Same with this. And I have another bat that's exactly like this one, except just a little different. I just don't know where I put it at the moment. I think it's in a different container because it's a little bit bigger, like this much. And then there is also these wings. I haven't put them out in anything yet. I'm not sure what to do with them. An Eevee. And what else was new? And that's it for newer things, but after I put these away real quick so you can see what I've been doing, I've been doing this. Oh, and this, this piece is a bit newer. I had felt I have to fix right there though. Felt to the back so it's smooth, but I'm going to make this into a keychain. I've been doing this. I have pushing pieces, a shell piece, ones with mini stars, another pushing, frozen ones, an anchor, always, another pushing, always believe, Valentine's Day. Oh, and this is a new piece. I completely forgot. The teacup. And I have this still. And then another Valentine's Day piece and the drippy moon. And then I still have the little twin star pieces as well. But I still have nothing to do with them or, well, I don't know what to do with them, I should say. And then I have another bat, I said. It's just too big for this. But hopefully I can finish these so my table doesn't look like a mess. And post more. But I'll let you know there is no. So hopefully everyone's been well. And if you continue still to watch my channel when I put new videos up, thank you.